Hello, welcome to Physician Perspectives. This is Dr. Jeetan Bendor. Going to talk about another favorite molecule called taurine. I consume it. And this short presentation is on taurine, an emerging star in neurological challenges. So, what is taurine? Taurine is a sulfur containing semi essential amino acid that occurs naturally in the body. It alternates between inflammation and oxidative stress mediated injuries in various disease models. Now what's important is that taurine is, is crucial in maintaining homeostasis within cells and it modulates endoplasmic reticulum stress, calcium homeostasis and neurological or neuronal activity at, at the molecular level. So this published review addresses the use of taurine in treatment of various neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, cerebral ischemia, memory impairment, depression, anxiety, spinal cord injuries and traumatic brain injury as well as epilepsy. So in various disease models it has the effect of reducing the damage caused by oxidative stress. Very interesting. Now in patients with Alzheimer's disease Taurine inhibits neurotoxicity caused by amyloid beta and glutamate receptor antagonists while activating GABA receptors. We know that amyloid beta protein particles increase in cells with Alzheimer's disease. Now in Parkinson's disease, it inhibits microglia mediated neuroinflammation and it slows down the progression of dopaminergic neurodegeneration. Very important. Taurine has been shown to reduce the incidence of seizures. Therefore, its use in the treatment of epilepsy may be of great importance. Take our message here is that taurine has the potential to serve as a suitable replacement drug for the treatment of neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, anxiety, Parkinson's disease and cerebral ischemia. What's interesting is that in Alzheimer's disease it protects against exotoxicity caused by high levels of uh, Glutamate. It also inhibits microglia dependent neuroinflammation and most importantly, at least according to me, it modulates mitochondrial dynamics and I think this mitochondrial function that it improves helps almost all cells in the neuronal capacity to improve itself and get over the challenges that inflammation brings upon its doors. Thank you.